Okay, so we're going to make a little bit more complicated lower third than we did in the last one. So I'm going to call this uh, lower third template 2. Pretty much the same deal here. Um, I'm going to go with a white background here that we can toggle on and off. All right. Bring this on. Fit it. I'm going to go a little bit faster in this one. Um, I'm going to come kind of, yeah, I'll start with my 700 there. And then I'm going to come here. It's going to be kind of a thin lower third, but I'm going to make it a little bit, a little bit different there. All right. So shape for the first one, it's going to be easy. All right. I'm going to select, you know, color. I'm going to come down here to rectangle and transform and I'm going to skew it just a little bit uh, something about like that all right get my move tool here I'm going to zoom in on it get my move tool I'm going to make it kind of skinny all right zoom out I'm going to I'm going to drag it. Oh, right there is fine. And I'm going to duplicate this layer. Command D. And I'm going to make another one right there. What we're going to do is we're going to kind of have these come in, fade in. They like come from maybe, you know, right here to right there. And they're going to kind of move together. All right, they're gonna kind of fade in. So we're gonna start them over here. All right, and I'm gonna both create a, they're gonna both be at an opacity of zero. All right, and then to about 12, a half a second, 12 frames. We're gonna come in and be Oh, maybe at a hundred there. We're gonna have them come in. Oh, let's make sure that we our positions need to be. Oh, I need to go back to frame one and make sure that those positions, because we forgot. All right, and then we'll. <clears throat> so what I did was make sure that we're at frame one. I forgot to make position keyframes at frame one. Uh, both of these need to have a position keyframe set at key at uh, keyframe one. All right, or frame one. Both of them need to be at the very beginning. Both of these need to have a, a, a keyframe at the, on the position. All right, so I just hit P. P will bring up position if both of them are selected and just make sure you hit the stopwatch and I'll create and uh, right there it'll create a uh, keyframe so now I need to go back to 12 again half back to half a second it's just easier to do that and now I can drag these over here all right And they're here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure both of them, both of these are selected. All right. Hit T to get transparency or opacity. T is for transparency. All right. And I'm gonna go down to 45, and then I'm gonna come back up. I make another keyframe. And I'm gonna be 100. All right. So we can drag this in. preview and you'll see what it looks like so this it basically looks like this all right so from right there move this up a little bit make sure these are both selected hit P for position make another keyframe all right 
And then this is where some of these are going to end. So we'll have what we're going to do is we're going to drag these both down here. All right, to the very end right there. Both of these will stay there. All right. And then this one is going to move to right here. All right. So this is what it's going to look like. All right. And what we're going to do while this one moves over here is I'm going to have it. It's going to look like it's going to draw out a background, like a little gray background. All right. Right, so from right here, so right here, we need a new shape layer. So new shape layer, we're going to call this background, well, gray, gray background, all right. And we can, this will be, this is right blue and this is left blue all right so right here we're gonna trim this remember to trim is that hot key there and we are going to draw a shape all right so we're gonna draw it so I'm gonna be this color we're gonna change some stuff we're gonna make it gray like a light gray there we're going to come down here to the transform there. We're going to skew it like we did the others. All right. <clears throat> so and then we're going to get double click these, drag it in just a little bit. We want slightly smaller than our endpoints here. We're going to drag. Get right here, all right. So it starts there. We're gonna, I mean, I'm trim the end off. Well, we might, if we need to make it longer, we will. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use a mask and we're gonna animate that mask along with this so that we make sure that it looks like. It's drawing like this little end part is pulling this gray out. All right, so we're gonna go back to our shape tool and I'm gonna go to the mask option here. And I'm just gonna you know, do this number here. Come down to the mask. I am going to make sure. this mask I need to skew it kind of like uh, I don't think I have that I need to skew it Yeah, there we go. So we'll have to do it like this. 
All right, so that was easy enough. All I did was I made sure that I was on our convert vertex tool and I just selected a point and just drug you know, gotta be on that mask again make sure you select it I'll show you vertex point just click and hold and get it, it looks like a little greater than sign or whatever and I just selected it around drug it around until I selected that point and I just used my arrow keys alright and that's all that it really is, right? So now I can get this again, and I can, you can move it around once you do that. That's cool. But I want it, you know, I don't, I want it like this. All right. So mask. Double click it, move it all to about right here. All right, so the mask path, I'm gonna make a keyframe. Double click it, so I get these handles. I'm gonna drag this in. All right. To right here. All right, so that's my keyframe for that. Now, this is gonna, before it goes forward, it's right here, all right? I need it. Well, let me drag this out. I need this. I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna paste this right here because I need it right here. I need it to go back. I need it to go back, all right? So it's gotta go, it sits here and then it goes, see? Let's see, it goes too far. This is what I did, this one. Got to copy that. There we are. Right there. And then after that, I can make it move back. So we have to have a holding keyframe. So it's the same from here to here. So it's the exact same between these two. But then it moves backwards right there. Then it moves. If I don't do that, then we have a problem. Let's see. I think that'll work. Oh, I still do it. I'll tell you what we can do though. Right here, we can right click. Yeah. We can right click on that and we can uh, we can choose a different type of keyframe. We can choose a holding keyframe. All right, it's 
so it won't go back see so from right here to right there we can actually you know you can actually get rid of that if you wanted to and put this right here that whole keyframe will will allow it not to mess up all right so from right here yeah we need this one because they move together so that's right and then right here I make a holding keyframe between this because they move together move together down here and then from here to here they need to stay the same and then from this holding keyframe to this it moves back and then it moves down so I have to have this holding keyframe right here and all you have to do is just control right click and just make sure that you toggle whole keyframe and you can just there's a bunch of different key keyframes too um, but we want the whole keyframe that way we don't get that weird animation that goes back all right so now come back down here to our mask and we're gonna want it to go we want it to stay the same from here oh now we want it to stay from around right here right here so double click on this this one so right here all right so we need it to be it's like it's like something's transforming over time we don't want to trans we want it to remain We're gonna have to do it this way. Cause we wanted it to be. Yeah, we wanted it to be this. Yeah, we want it to change. You know, there we go. Well. So let's just do a RAM preview and see what it looks like. All right. That's cool. And so you have a kind of cool key. I mean, you have a cool you have a cool animated lower third that's working out there for you all right just you know make sure you save it a lot there we go and then maybe right here what we can do for this one is we're going to actually transform it and make it you know do some cool stuff all right so um we're gonna go to contents rectangle rectangle transform we're going to do scale here and then we're going to move it down a little bit and have oop, we want that remember we want that center point well the center point uh, I got it so we're going to duplicate this all right trim trim it off there this and then this will be easy enough to do uh, 
we don't need all that because, well, it doesn't matter. Because it's not going to ever show up. But we do want, well, yeah, we can delete all that. It's never going to show up anyway. Alright, so it's right there. <clears throat> and we can animate this now. We can go contents, rectangle, transform down here, position. Scale, all right. We're gonna make sure that that pan behind tool. Let's get that right there. We want to transform it from the side. Move this down a little bit and have this animate out. All right. So now let's look at this. That's cool. So maybe. Oh. Alright. I need to do. And then it comes out. All about timing so you know ram preview then that comes out and then down here you can put like your logo in there have it animate somehow in then you could have your name here and then you could have your text here um you know like your designation could be either up here or down here or somewhere in here so you have really you know i'm just gonna copy this paste it in there or flip it so that you know and then down here you know, here's a mask copy that paste that flip that around And these keyframes will kind of snap in there. Then trim that one at the top off. And then you could have them fade out, you know. Or you can do what you did with them beforehand, you know. You could have them, you know, start, they came in here, you could have them reverse it. Uh, 
100. Got to have them both selected to do two keyframes at one time, and then zero. There you are. Oh, well, and of course that background needs to be long gone too. Background should be cut off of right there. All right, so there you are. All right, so here's a little cut over third. So, you know, that's the easy way to get you a cool looking lower third. Um, you can, I'm not gonna put all the text in there and stuff like that, but you could, you can do that yourself. You can make it look good. I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna toggle that background on so you can see what it looks like, you know. And so there you are. Easy. Easy animated lower third. Just using keyframes and some cool stuff. Not too worried about it. About, you know, going through a lot of extra stuff, but this is where you can put your, you know, put your spin on it. Figure out where your designation, your logo could go there, stuff like that. So pretty cool. Easy to do lower third. And then you can, of course, adjust all the keyframes, make it shorter or longer, whatever you need to do. Once you're done, you go to export, head to render queue. Um, you know, this is project lower two renders. Um, template 02, save that. Lossless uh, QuickTime format, PNG. RGB plus alpha, okay, and just render it, and then you'll be good to go. And so, happy editing, happy animating, happy creating, and do good work. <laughs>